Now when I put my old Chevy back together, I made the decision, I was trying to get it back uh, you know, on the ground. So although I know the shocks, the bushings in it are wore out, because it has considerable play in this arm, and these are not only shocks, they, they actually hold the full front end up. Uh, you know, you have, there's an A-frame underneath, these mount right to the frame, and the spindles mount right in here. Well, I knew to rebuild my old ones was going to be a big project. Uh, standalone kind of thing. Rather than leap right into it, I decided, well, put it together the way it was so that I could actually get it moving again. And then I looked around and I found a set of shocks for a 47 Chevy. I got these, uh, I think, 35 bucks a piece from a guy in Wisconsin. Now, you know, I'm really not sure how they come apart. That's going to be a learning experience. But like I say, I knew this was going to be a big project from the get-go. Because <laughs> I think the only real people who are probably expert at this in the world are Cubans. Because they have learned how to keep this old stuff going. You know, since we wouldn't sell them any new parts, they learned to make do with what they had. So I'm sure somebody there could rebuild these very easily. Now here, there are companies that will rebuild them, or they'll sell you a rebuilt set, but you must have an, a core exchange because then they rebuild them. Or they have somebody do it, maybe down to Mexico or something. But I figure this can't be that complicated. I pulled the cover off of this one, and they're cruddy inside. But it appears to be just a you know a shaft that goes through and a rocker on it that pushes on a piston down there. Then you've got two sets of valves up here. They must be like a popper valve or uh, probably just an orifice on one of them. Because, like I say, as a shock, they're not the greatest shock in the world, but they're a very important part of your suspension. You can never get your suspension aligned unless these bushings are tight. So I had to do something with it, but like I say, I don't want to spend, you know, like the people who do it here, it would end up costing, I'd probably end up spending $800 on getting shocks for the front of their car. Well, I'm going to make an attempt at doing these myself. They're interesting. But like I say, it's very important uh, to, for your alignment to have this part, these bushings. But I'm not real sure how they, they appear to be splined on here. But that could be a very tight press fit. And then there's seals. And it must be splined going through the rocker. But I'm going to get the covers off both of them. And soak them in diesel fuel for a while. Because they're kind of cruddy. But at least it isn't water. It's just really old shock absorber fluid. Which is like a hydraulic jack fluid. And I'm not sure... These are welded together in this piece here. And it might be necessary to open that up to take these parts out. I, mean, I don't know. Uh, but I'm willing to try. You know, like I say, I only got $35 in each one. So my plan was rather than go in and take mine out, which completely disables the car, and then monkey around, I can figure it out on these. You know, then at least I'll know what I'm doing since I don't have to have a Cuban handy. <laughs>